And I am here today to do some Kung Fu with you. And I have uh, about 30 years of Kung Fu practice experience. I have a third degree black belt in Kaiju Kendo Kung Fu. Um, I also have 31 years of parenting experience. Um, I have a beautiful, stunningly beautiful, healthy, happy, financially self-sustaining 31-year-old daughter. Thank you so much. <laughs> Every day. Every day. I say, what else is there? <laughs> Bring it on, world, because I did this one day. <laughs> So we're here today to do some Kung Fu together, and I'm going to invite you right now to start with a little bow to our space, to the practice. We're going to do that by putting our feet together, standing upright, lifting up to the knees without locking the knees, hands resting gently alongside the body. And specifically, if you look down and just notice where your hands are, they should be running just about halfway down the middle of the side of your leg. So if you had, imagine if you had a seam in your pants, your middle finger would be lining up just with that seam. Your shoulders are relaxed on top of your body, your chin is slightly dropped, your eyes looking far. Think about soft focusing your eyes. So with your gaze far off, into an unseen distance. And then bowing, just leaning forward, eyes still up, bowing to the space. And if you're in the space with anyone, if you're training with anyone, then you can turn to that person and give them that same bow. So hopefully your bodies are a little warmed up. Uh, but we're going to do a few little joint rotations and warm-ups that will bring some fluid to those joints and get your, your body ready for some punching and kicking that we're going to do today. So I'm going to invite you to circle your ankle right now, so circle your own ankle. And as you're doing this, you're feeling, how does my ankle feel? So pressing through the ball of the foot into the ground as you're circling the ankle and circling back the other direction. And circling the other ankle. And circling back the other direction. I feel like all this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, put some rhythm into it. <laughs> and feet together. And clap your hands together. And bring some heat to your hands. And use that heat to warm up your own knees. So rubbing out the front of your knees and the insides of your knees, and the outsides of your knees, and hands on the tops of the knees, eyes up, and circling the knees. Three circles in one direction, and three circles back in the other direction, noticing how are my knees? Are they crackling and popping? And coming up, stepping your feet out about hips distance apart, and hands on the hips, and circling the hips. Imagining that you're inside of a gigantic peanut butter jar. There's almost no peanut butter left in there, but you're using your hips to scrape out the inside of that peanut butter jar and get that last little bit of peanut butter. And the other direction, getting every point in a circle with your hips. And one more time around. And shake up the arms. And circling the shoulders around, lifting them up really, really, really high, and then dropping them back, and dropping them down, and then circling the shoulders to the back. Remembering to breathe. And circling the other direction, circling the shoulders forward. Great. And a little coordination, right shoulder up. And left shoulder up, and both together. Right shoulder up, left shoulder up, and both together. Right shoulder up, left shoulder up, both together. Right, and dropping the head over to the left. And 
going to increase the stretch, you can bring your hand up. Just place it gently on the side of your head. And release that hand, dropping your chin down to your chest, letting your head go all the way across the front, dropping the ear to the other shoulder. And if you want to increase the stretch, you can just gently place your hand there. And release. And let your head roll towards the center. And then bring the head back up to face front. Beautiful. And then take a moment right now just to shake your body out, loosen it up, and feel if there's any place that might need some extra attention. What's the place in you? Wiggling your arms, wiggling the legs, wiggling the shoulders. What's the place in you that needs a little extra loosening? Beautiful. Okay, so we are going to review the punch that we have already learned. If you've been with us before, you've learned the full twisting punch. We're going to review that punch here together. We did that by stepping out into a ready stance, sometimes also called the Kempo stance. So we're going to start from that natural position, hands at the side of the body. We're going to sink down slightly into both legs just to get a little bend in the knees. And then stepping out with the right leg, feet about shoulder distance apart, toes turn slightly inward, and that's our stance. We have a bend in the knee, we're pulling up to the center of the feet, we're engaged through the core, relaxing through the lower back, the lumbar spine, and we're still able to breathe. And our shoulders are down, relax. Then I come back to the natural stance. And we're going to add the hands to that. Hands are going to come up, cross right in front of your body, and then they're going to go down into two fists right in front of the body as you step out into the stance. So watch me once, it'll look like this. And then do it with me. And go. And come back to natural stance. And do it with me one more time, slow speed. Go. And back to that natural stance. And last time, we're going to add our voices back into that. So that will look like this. Watch me first. I'll say, go. Ha! So we're using that ki, that loud sound, the voice as a spirit awakening, the voice even as a warning. The voice sometimes could even be a call for help or a weapon. In this case, we're using the voice as a way to wake up our spirit, wake up the spirits of those that are within your shop. So from that natural stance, when I say go, we're going to step out into ready stance or kempo stance using the ki, using the voice. Go. Yeah! Beautiful. And then pulling the hands up and into chamber. They're in fists, and your hands are tight by the side of your ribs. And we're going to use that ki I'm going to do 10 punches together. So it will look like this. I'll say one, and you will punch. Watch me first. Ha! And I'll say two, and those punches are going to trade places like this. Two. Ha! Great. So hands starting the chamber. Punching on my count with the ki One. Ha! Two. Ha! Three. Ha! Four. Ha! Even as you reach that full extension point of your punch, 
I like that if you have some bend still left in your elbow, which protects the elbow joint, and the fist is straight forward with the thumb, the thumb tucked out of the way. Beautiful. Four more. One, two, three, four, five, 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 And two more. Yeah. Beautiful. So we're going to add a new stance today, which is the horse stance. So the horse stance, it has some things in common with that tempo stance, that ready stance, um, but it's a little deeper, a little wider, can feel a little more intense on the body. So make sure you modify it as needed for your body. So we're going to start from that ready stance, that natural stance first, and then we're going to step out into the ready stance, go. And then from this ready stance, we're going to step out a little further, a little further, just about as far as we can go with our feet still facing straight forward and sinking down evenly between the two legs. Sinking down evenly between the two legs. Knees pushing out towards your toes as if you were sitting astride a nice Big horse. And right now, you're going to have to just relax. Just relax your hands on top of that. So I want you to feel what it feels like to sink down into that stance. Check your toes. Toes are facing straight forward. Check that your knees are pushing out towards your toes, not collapsing inwards. Beautiful. And now bring the hands up into chamber. And we're going to hold this stance for just a moment, taking a deep breath. And then sinking down a little deeper if you can. And holding it. And coming back up to an natural stance. And shake out your legs. And feet together. Hands at your sides. And we're going to bow. The space to ourselves, to the practice, and if we have a partner, we're going to turn and drop the back or something. Thank you. 